very nice it is a very good problem of the degrees of freedom. Let me see, they have given a mechanism something like that. They have given this mechanism and they are asking how much is the degrees of freedom of this chain, very nice. So that is a very nice problem. So let me uh, count first the number of links, see number of links are this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the total number of links here are 5. Now we are going to count the effective number of binary joints. See the one binary is here, one binary is here, one binary is here, one binary is here, one binary is here. So, total number of binary joints which we are going to say j that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, they are also 5 and similarly one here we are getting the higher pair that is a point contact. So, if we calculate the Kullback equation by the Kullback equation 3 times L minus 1 minus 2j minus h will be the degrees of freedom, it is 3 times 5 minus 1 minus 2j minus h. So, that is 12 minus 10 minus 1 that is 1. So, the degrees of freedom for this problem will be equal to 1. So, certainly this will be a kinematic chain, no doubt because if the degrees of freedom is 1, it is a constraint chain which is called kinematic chain and the right answer is 1.